my lovelies welcome back again thank you for joining me in today's video we have a coffee which is going to be a much needed thing for me to get through today's video editing I'll just set it up here it has been some time since I joined you all in a video thank you so much for being here Today is actually December 21st. It is winter solstice. And I believe I, I was thinking about this. It's funny. I think the last time that I had a sit down with you guys and like a face-to-face -face talk, it was summer solstice. So that's, that's really interesting. It's been a while and I'm very glad to be doing another video and just coming to talk with you here and having a face-to-face. A lot of things have happened since my last video where I talked to you guys and um, I'm going to be honest with you and say that I was not sure how to go about putting this video together. I really didn't have a plan for it. It may be very obvious that I didn't have a plan. It might just be all over the place, but I had so much footage that I wanted to kind of turn into a video and so many things I wanted to talk to you about. So I just, you have to just get started. Sometimes the hardest part is just getting started. And that's what I told myself. I said, if I can, if I can just start, then the ideas and the creativity will begin to flow. And that's what I was hoping for. So we'll see how it goes. But yeah, um, since I have spoken with you guys last, since I made a vlog, um, well, I got really sick. Uh, I came down with just a really bad sickness that had me in the bed for a month. And this was the month of September. And it was just so bad. I really don't even want to talk about it. But it was, um, it was just something like strep throat and bronchitis and... I don't really know, but it really set me back. It really knocked me down. And you know, one of my last vlogs was uh, summer busier than usual. And I don't know, I, maybe I wore myself down. Maybe I was too busy, but the illness definitely made me slow down as I didn't have much of a choice in that matter. So that took place. And then when I got to feeling better, um, both me and David, we both were sick and we just thought, you know what? Life is too short. We need to, you know, enjoy life, enjoy life more and just um, 
do things that we can find to just appreciate life's moments. So the mountains were calling us and we answered the call and we actually had an opportunity to vacation up in North Georgia and it was absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous uh, fall foliage season up there. And it was just such a refreshing getaway. Uh, we were able to go up there and experience Jasper, Georgia for the first time. Uh, neither one of us had ever visited there. <clears throat> so it was a new place to experience. Um, the weather was just absolutely gorgeous and uh, we drove. Um, we got to experience a lot of fall foliage on the way. And when we were up there, we just realized that all of the fall foliage was just completely in bloom, like we have never seen. And in the South, it's a little bit rare to have the bright, vivid yellows, reds, orange, all these colors in the fall. I just love autumn. It's my favorite season. To me, I just come alive and I just come out um, in my creativity and just get so much inspiration from that time of year. So this was in October. And um, we just got to go up there and e experience autumn in a new way and in a way that we don't usually get to. Um, so I will tell you a little bit about our trip because that is a lot of the footage that I have. So we stayed in Jasper, Georgia. And uh, when we arrived, we thought we'd just explore the little quaint downtown area of Jasper. And it was it was just really, I want to say polished and it had a, a little bit of an old time vibe to it, but it also was just very clean and organized. The little town was welcoming, I guess is kind of what I'm going to say. You know, as soon as we got there, we stepped out of the Jeep and we just thought, wow, the weather it's just so crisp. It's just so cool and refreshing. And I immediately began to notice all the fall colors and the trees were just bursting with vibrant color. So I got my camera out. I wanted to start taking video and pictures of everything there. I was just already getting inspired by it. So in downtown Jasper, they had this restaurant there called the Old Mule House. And so we ate there. We were able to sit out on the balcony and you know do a little bit of people watching the weather was so nice it was nice to sit outside so we did eat there while visiting and during our stay we also uh, went into the red bean coffee cafe and we got a coffee there um it was just really good it was a uh, just a really nice welcoming environment as well and we also got some ice cream from lolly drop sweet shop and it was right there in the downtown as well and I saw a sign, it actually said it was voted Georgia's number one best in 2021 for ice cream and sweets. So that's a pretty good accolade. One of the things I was really hoping to do during our stay and something we did get to do was to go to Bert's Pumpkin Farm. It's a very large farm, so it's not just like a pumpkin patch, but being that it's a farm, they had so many pumpkin varieties and it was such a, a large grounds for exploring. Uh, we walked around, we um, took some pictures of all the different types of pumpkins there. And I actually bought a couple of little small pumpkins. I just wanted to get little ones that would be easy to transit back home. They had a really quaint country store with lots of neat uh, pumpkin butters and jams and jellies and lots of baked goods. So we kind of looked around in there for a little while. And you know, the history of the farm actually originates back in the 1800s, but in 1972, um, a couple actually turned it into a pumpkin farm and it's been going strong ever since. Its pumpkin farm actually grows 50 to 70 acres of pumpkins every year. And they even plan to expand and grow even more in the future. They offer hay rides and lots of different fun activities for children and families. It was really a wonderful experience, one of the highlights of the trip. When we go on a trip like this, um, one thing that David and I both really appreciate doing is just kind of going out for the day and exploring, looking for nature trails, scenic byways, 
um, rivers and streams, lots of waterfalls, and you can find all of this beauty in the North Georgia mountain area. It's just one of my favorite places to visit. I never tire of going. So the Russell Brasstown Scenic Byway was something that we really hoped that we'd be able to um, explore. And we did, this is actually a 40.6 mile scenic byway going through national parks and areas that are just almost untouched. Um, this is an area where you're just going to find so many great mountain overlooks, so many beautiful trees, and you'll find waterfalls on the way. So we actually um, explored that while we were there. Um, we did go up to Brasstown Bald, which is the highest point in Georgia. Uh, we didn't actually go in, but we spent a little bit of time just exploring the grounds. Um, if you just park there in the parking lot, you can get out, you can walk around, you can kind of sightsee a little bit. There's some mountain overlooks there as well. I just couldn't stop taking video of our drive because it was just so breathtaking to me. We'd be driving on these winding roads and the leaves would be cascading down and, you know, just falling from the trees. And it was just so magical. And so much of the landscape just looked kind of like a, a fantasy land in a way. And then in addition um, to, you know, just driving around, David and I also really, really enjoy visiting different state parks. And it's kind of one of our goals to visit all of the state parks in Georgia, the state in which we live. And we've visited quite a few. Um, we revisited Vogel State Park again, Vogel. Uh, it's one of our favorite locations. And we just kind of walked around. They have wonderful walking trails there. The weather felt really good. And they have a waterfall there as well. So we um, took the little trek down to the waterfall and spent some time there. We were able to just kind of hang out next to the waterfall. It was really peaceful. The water being beside it, it just did us well. You know, we just soaked up nature and the beauty of it and um, just the sounds of the rushing water just, just soothed and just grounded me and I know David felt the same and uh, it was not that very crowded there wasn't very many people at the time so that was wonderful so if you ever have a chance to visit Vogel State Park I highly recommend it it's definitely one of my favorites to visit and I'm really glad that we could go back a, a second time and I'll go back again and again if I can I'm trying to think of um what more that we did to tell you about. Oh yes, <laughs> I almost forgot that um, we also, uh, David and I also did a little bit of a autumn uh, tour back to Burton Brooks. It's a peach orchard, but they also have a pumpkin patch in the autumn. And I believe that I showed um, footage from when I went there to get some peaches. I showed that in a vlog before where we actually went for peaches, but this time we went for the pumpkin patch and it was really cute. Um, we got some apple cider. It, it wasn't just a typical apple cider though. It was like a frozen blended apple cider and it was really really delicious. Now it wasn't quite as cool that day. It didn't really feel like autumn as much, but it was still festive nonetheless. So um, this was not in North Georgia though. This was um, not too far from where we live. And um, we go there, you know, periodically, uh, at least a couple of times out of the year. But um, I just thought I'd throw that out there because I almost forgot that we went and visited that place. But um, it was just a really wonderful autumn this time. It was just uh, lots of fun activities and lots of celebration of, of fall. And that was definitely something I could appreciate. But um, also the same day that we went to Burton Brooks, on the way we passed by Banks Lake and it might've been on the way back, we decided to stop and get out and kind of walk around now this lake is actually considered a national wildlife refuge 
and it's just a very stunning lake. People love to go out on this lake for recreation. This lake actually goes out and spreads an expanse of 4,049 acres. It was actually in 1985 that they established this lake for the protection and preservation and conservation due to its unique environment. There's a lot of migratory species and a lot of endangered species that live in this habitat. So it's a national protected environment. And yeah, so we visited that area and driven past it many, many times, but never really stopped and got out. And they have a really pretty boardwalk. You can really get out there and, and look and um, it'd be really fun to kayak that lake one day. So maybe we'll do that. So getting back to the North Georgia trip. We took a little detour as I remembered a couple of other autumn things that we did. Getting back, um, the place where we stayed, it was absolutely a beautiful little homestead. Um, they had chickens there, which were really fun. We were able to have a few farm fresh eggs during our stay. Uh, they had a couple of little farm cats that were um, friendly when they wanted to be but quite standoffish. Uh, <laughs> you know how cats can be, but they were so precious and it was so fun to um, try to get their attention, you know, snapping and calling them and they would just turn their tails up at us like they were indifferent. But then when they chose to, they would come up and be very sweet. But David and I, um, we enjoyed, you know, walking around the grounds. They had several different trails. They had some trails that went down to some rivers and some creeks there on the property. Um, we walked down by the water and it was just so appealing. It was so intriguing. Like I was even thinking in my mind about getting in and like jumping into the water. It just, I know it would be cold, but it would be refreshing. You know, something else that took place well, on this trip, something that I did not expect to happen whatsoever, completely just surprised me, was I got engaged. I got engaged. David proposed with this beautiful ring, and um, it was just in an absolutely beautiful location as well. There was a, an unexplored trail that he kept telling me about. And, um, you know, we were very exhausted from our days out, you know, on excursion and all the adventuring that we were doing, but he still wanted to go down this trail that we had not looked at yet on the premise. So I was like, okay, we will, we'll go and check it out. And when we arrived there and it was just a beautiful location, I was just like, I was just stunned by by this location that just looked like it came out of a fairy tale. And so I actually set up my camera on the little tripod down low, kind of looking up at us. And I don't know why I was filming it. I had been filming so many things though. So I think at that point it was just like second nature to set up the camera. Um, I just thought I would get us just kind of walking around in this environment and, uh, Needless to say, I ended up filming without even realizing that I would. I ended up filming the entire proposal. It was very romantic, very sweet. Uh, David really outdid himself on just how thoughtful it was. Just I could tell that he poured his his caring love into every detail of that proposal. And I just I knew how scary and intimidating it would be to propose to someone and to get down on knee like that. So good job. He did, he did a really good job. Um, I was very pleasantly surprised and I, I definitely said, yes, I of course will marry you, David. So very exciting news. Um, yes, a beautiful ring that I absolutely love and cherish. And it's just, the perfect ring that he picked out. So I won't go on and on and on though I could, but I mean, what, what a great trip it was overall. I mean, I, I never would have even, I couldn't have imagined that it would have ended up being such a memorable, a memorable trip with 
life-changing experiences that David and I got to share together and I'm so thankful for that. And I think I'll just kind of check out and say bye for now. I guess I will see you in the next vlog whenever it is. Thank you guys so much for listening to me rattle on and on and see you guys at the end. Bye.